Hi, my name is Fiona Keary from Star Liberation and welcome to this week's Colour Combo. Do you find it hard to create a wardrobe full of outfits that you absolutely love? Do you feel like things don't really mix and match and go together? Well, that's why we've created this segment called the Colour Combos. We know that often where we go is a default of either black or white to put with colour. We want to wear more of it, we just don't know what to put with it. So this week we are taking a look at a great neutral for all of you warm and muted and warm and clears out there and that includes warm clear light, warm clear bright, warm muted soft and also warm muted dark and that is the gorgeous cappuccino. And so I just wanted to show you this pair of pants that we picked up from Sportscraft. It's the Evie Capri and it is in this gorgeous neutral cappuccino. Now the reason why this is really great is it's one of what we call the core colours within those colour palettes. And what that means is usually nearly every other colour that you will find in your colour palette will go with it. So if I use an example here, you can see that these colours tone beautifully with it to mix and match. But also, if I used these cool, these, um, sorry, warm, muted and light colours as well. Now, depending on the colour combination you do will really be dependent on your style personality as well. So if you are someone who is probably relaxed natural or classic, you may not go for really high contrast or really loud colour combinations. If you're someone who is more dramatic or creative, for example, you'll feel much more comfortable doing that. So I just wanted to show you some of those right now. So if you're someone who is probably more of a classic, then you are going to pair your neutrals with your whites, your creams, and I should say off-white really, because white's more for cools. And you may also pair it with something more like your petrol blues as well. This is a beautiful petrol blue top from H&M. But you can see that gorgeous colour combination there. Really, really lovely, without it being black, because black would be a little bit too harsh against that. So if you're a classic, you'd probably go for something like that. If you're a relaxed natural, for example, you might want to pair it with this beautiful earthy rust colour. Now, this one is the Cocoon Cardigan from Target. Um, it's just been released. I know that we've still got that warmer weather, but a lot of the autumn winter stock is being released at the moment. So you can see you could pair that with your off-white and that as well and that would work for a classic too if a classic is willing to inject a little bit more colour into their wardrobe there as well. Also if you're a classic you can put another what we call core colour with your core colour as well and that is a gorgeous navy. Now this is actually my Uniqlo blazer from quite a number of years ago but again you could see how you could pair it with your off-white and then put your navy with it as well. So creating those colour combinations by combining two core colours within your wardrobe, but also with some of those earthy colours as well. Again, if you're a relaxed natural, and I'm just showing an example of a Zara dress that I have, you could go for that forest green or Sherwood green as we call it too. This is probably a little bit more for your warm muted or cool, clear, deep colours to put these two together, um, but a really fun co colour combination. I can imagine it in a beautiful, knit or a gorgeous um, blouse as well. You can see that I could also put this together and I'm actually cool, clear and dark, but what I can do is I can go a little bit warmer, but you can see that I've got the navy and the gold in there, which actually goes beautifully with these cappuccino pants. Now, if you're a warm and clear, don't feel left out because what you can do is something a little bit more striking and daring to go there and that is to pair it with something that has got more of those corals, apricots and red oranges in there. And you can see that that goes beautifully. Now, a lot of people would default to putting that with the black because you've got the black in it. But I think especially for summer or those warmer climates, putting it with something that's a little bit lighter into more of your lighter neutral gives a really great color combination there. If you're someone who likes sort of deeper burgundies and plums, um, this is a great new top from Target as well, just from their preview collection. Um, and that's just come out, it's a beautiful cowl neck, but you can again see that beautiful color combination there too. Now you'll recognize some hits from our waist cincher 
episode last week, but this is the gorgeous um, Lena Broughton um, waist cinching top that we showcased last week. So again, just to show you, this is more for warm muted or warm muted soft. Um, a warm and clear could get away with this just because it's got some of those brighter details coming through too. But again, you can see instead of maybe putting it with a navy, which works, having it with this cappuccino colour, again, just lifts all the colours in it just to make those sing. Also, for those of you who prefer something a little bit more rebellious, having like a soft blue with a little bit of touch of navy animal print coming through there is really great. And then you may also recognize our gorgeous Sasha Drake waist cinching top for last week as well, which is great for your warm and clears as well. And you see fantastic color combination. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a pair of pants. It'd be a really great pair of, um, a pair of shorts or a skirt. Um, Ponty pants, I know Sports Craft have done this color in the past. Um, and you can imagine if you had these sort of colors coming through in particular for autumn, winter as well. So I just want to show you a warm, clear and light palette and maybe just pick out some of the blues that would work really beautifully there into your purples and your corals, which you could see in the print and pattern. So really it's about looking at the core neutral that you have. So in this case for warm and muted and warm and clears, it's this beautiful cappuccino and then playing around with different block colors to start with and then also prints and patterns that you can put it with. And if we look at it from a capsule wardrobe perspective as well, if you think that we've got 10 items here, we're not going to include the dress there, but we could create around 18 outfits from that with just one base foundation piece in a core color. Add in another skirt in this color or maybe another pair of pants in navy and you're doubling it. So that's where we mean working with your color combinations and working off one color palette means that everything in your wardrobe will mix and match. Now, if you would like to find out more about the pieces that I've showcased, I'm going to just put a little slide up so that you can see where each piece is from and how much it is. And also, if you're interested in color and want to find out what your color palette is, or perhaps you've had your colors done years ago, but perhaps they're not feeling quite right anymore, then I'll post a link to find out more about our colour sessions. We host group and individual colour sessions in Sydney, Brisbane and Canberra. And we also do virtual colour now as well. So thank you for joining me this week for Colour Combos. We'll see you again next week. Bye.